Hello, and welcome to my channel. You should be informed my opponents get dismantled. Do it like the mogul, the one and only Shofu. If you want good Wi-Fi battles, I'm the one to go to. So pull up for C, pay attention, sit up. We're pushing and he he to rule my fucking shit up. This intro's going hard, I see you bobbing to the vibe. After you watch, like, comment, and subscribe. What's good? Shofu here bringing you a battle against Solo Solo Black Dude, and I'm gonna say right now, I apologize for using two Rotom forms. Apparently, that's Breaking Species Clause, but I didn't really think it was a big deal since they're both two completely different types, but whatever. So he's gonna lead with a, an Espeon, I'm gonna lead with my Garuda. Uh, now I'm just gonna start playing games with him. Uh, I knew he would predict me to use a Bug type move, so I'm actually gonna go straight for the U turn as he brings in his Darmanitan. I get a crit, didn't really matter. Um, so now I'm going to actually go to my easy bake oven, and now I'm going to go for Volt Change. I'm just going to keep using moves that make me switch out, so it's just I'm just going to be playing games with him here. So I go for the Volt Change, doesn't take it out. Like I, ex I didn't expect it to take it out anyways. So I'm going to go to my Rotom Wash now. Uh, he's going to go for the Stone Edge. It's not going to do very much at all. Uh, so now I know he's going to switch out, so I'm going to go for the Volt Change again. <laughs> this is just so fun. I'm going to go for the Volt Change again. And I'm going to Volt Change and go to my, uh, what do I go to here? My Randorosu. It's okay, I have the Randorosu, but the Sand's not up, so I fail. So I go to my Randorosu, I'm going to go for the U-turn again. <laughs> so, yeah, I basically just took him out. I took out one of his guys just all using moves that make me switch out. So it's all good. So I'm going to go back out to my Agaruda now. Uh, he's going to send in his Darmanitan. He must, he's most likely Scarfed, otherwise I don't think he would bring it in. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to send him my Rotom now just to see what move he would lock himself into, and he goes for the Flare Blitz. And judging by how much damage that Flare Blitz did, I don't think I'll be able to take another one. So, uh, I'm, good to, I'm just going to switch out, go to my uh, Rotom Heat, and uh, the recoil from the damage he gives me should actually take him out, and if it doesn't, I can always just Volt Change and kill him. Uh, so, yeah, my plan works out. He kills himself with the recoil damage, and we're all good. So now he makes a very, very, very obvious play. He goes out to a water Pokemon expecting me to use Volt Change on it. But I knew he had a ground Pokemon. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the trick here. Uh, predicting his Garchomp to come in. Uh, so now I have leftovers and his Garchomp has a Choice Scarf. But uh, I'm not... I actually don't have anything to switch into the Dragon Claw. So I'm just going to stay in and die. So it's all good. Uh, my Easy Bake did work. It did, did a great job. So now I'm going to send out my other Rotom, which is probably not a good idea. But whatever. Uh, actually, actually, it was a good idea. I know I'll be able to live the Dragon Claw, so I actually went for the Pain Split, but he sends in his Reuniclus, and uh, the Pain Split gives me a shit ton of HP back. So I'm just going to go for the Volt Change because I can get damage and switch out at the same time. And uh, it does a decent amount, actually, considering it's such a weak move. Uh, I go to my Agaruda here, and uh, he goes for the Calm Mind. I'm predicting him to go for the, for the Recover, so I'm actually going to go for the uh, Yawn. Uh, he's gonna go for the recover like I thought he would, and uh, now my dumbass is gonna go for protect. Like, like I don't know. I have spikes on this. I really should have went for a layer of spikes here, but uh, I don't know what I was doing. So he's gonna switch out as I go for protect. He goes out to his uh, what's that thing called? I don't even know. I'm just gonna go ahead and U turn out. Um, and he's going to go for the toxic. So that was a good move on his part. He probably predicted that. Um. So, you know, what can I do? Uh, so now I'm gonna, I'm predicting him to use, uh, Protect here. So I'm actually gonna, uh, I'm not even gonna go for the Volt Chain. I'm just gonna switch out. And I'm gonna go to my, uh, to my Agaruda. Uh, he, he does go for Protect like I thought he would. Uh, now I'm just gonna use this opportunity to... I think I go for the Yawn again? Yeah, I go for the Yawn. Just so, you know, obviously him being asleep makes things easier for me. Uh, he's gonna go for the Waterfall. Um, I'm actually gonna go for the for a layer of spikes now just because I think it would be helpful. Um, so yeah, I go for a layer of spikes as he sends in his guard chunk, which is now choice scarf. I'm gonna go for the protect just to scout out what move he's gonna use. And he's gonna go for Dragon Claw. So uh, I'm just gonna switch out, go to my Rotom as Death Fodder pretty much. Because uh, I don't think after after uh two Dragon Claws and the toxic damage, I don't think I can live. But uh he does, so I guess he's going to switch out as I go for the Hydro Pump. He switches into his Reuniclus. His Reuniclus is going to take a shit ton from the Hydro Pump. It actually does like half. <laughs> okay, no, it does like 40%, sorry. 
Uh, now I'm going to go for the Vault Change, and I'm actually going to get a critical hit. Uh, but lucky for him, he actually went for recover, so it doesn't really matter too much. It does matter, though, but uh, not that much. So, uh, yeah, he's going to go... I'm going to go out to my pwn. Uh, I, I go out to my pwn just so I can go for the U-turn. Uh, I'm like I know he's going to switch out, but I don't know what he's going to switch out to, which is exactly why I go for the U-turn. That's pretty much why U-turn is U-turn and why I use U-turn. So what the hell am I talking about? Shut up. Shut up. Anyways, uh, I U-turn out as he brings in his weird love disc thing. And uh, here I'm just trying to get something to sleep, really. So I go for the yawn, and I'm just going to keep going for yawn. Something is going to go to sleep. Something is going to go to sleep. He uses Waterfall and since I think has such a terrible, terrible attack. I live. I can actually take two hits from that thing. So, uh, yeah, he's going to switch out. I'm just going to go for Yawn again. Uh, he brings in his Guard Chomp. And, uh, yeah, that thing gets drowsy. So, I know he's going to switch out. And if he doesn't switch out, he'll go to sleep. If he does switch out, he'll get Yawned again. So, he brings in a Conkelder. Oh my gosh, I hate that name. Conkelder. So, uh, my dumbass, <laughs> I actually went for Protect here, because I thought that if he was going to leave a Pokemon in, it would be his Rupushin. It would be that, but he switches out again. So, I guess he, it was like reverse psychology. I just really thought he would eventually stay in with a Pokemon, so I used Protect, but I guess I was wrong. So, uh, now I'm going to be forced to switch out. I'm going to be forced to go to my Rotom Water as a, pretty much a Death Fodder. Um, so yeah, that's exactly what I use it for, Death Fodder. So he goes for two Dragon Claws and takes me out. So now I'm gonna bring in my uh, girl. I see you, girl. Girl, I see you. Anyways, uh, he goes for the Dragon Claw. It's not gonna do that much. It does actually it does almost half. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Trick Room. I go for the Psychic, and I do get a critical hit here. I'm pretty sure he would have been able to live that with a mini school uh, amount of HP. But he still would have lived it nevertheless. That's he would have been able to get off another slightly you know, he I would have been very near death, but I still would have lived, but you know, I still would have been very near death. So that's unfortunate for him, but he brings in his own re Reuniclus and it's gonna die to a Shadow Ball. So now he brings out his love this thing. I'm gonna go for the sidekick. And uh right here you can see that if he had uh if I hadn't gotten that crit on his guard chomp, he would have been able to take me out with a waterfall. So that's unfortunate for him. But, uh, that's just how the game goes, my friend. That's just how the game goes. So I go for the Psychic to take out his Love Disc, and that is the end of that. So he's going to send out his Conkildar. Conkildar. Derp. Conkilderp. And he's going to go for the Stone Edge just to take me out. And now I'm going to go for my Randorosu just to finish things up. And I'm going to go for that Earth. That Earth. That Earth. That Earth. That Earth. That Earth power. Just kidding. That Earth. That Earthquake. That Earthquake. Anyways, uh, three earthquakes is gonna be able to take out his rank, uh, his uh, no, three earthquakes is gonna be able to take out his uh, repushing over there, and with the remaining time left in this video, I'm gonna give a shout out to Black Blastoise. Please subscribe to that man. He is the best player of this game ever. He's way better than me, uh, and he's just funny as shit, dude. Like the the shit he says, it's all subtle. It's so funny. Like he's just a funny man, and he's Mexican. He's not black. So yeah, be sure to check out Shelfu TV, be sure to check out One Play Nation, and be sure to check out Solo Solo Black Dude, my opponent in this video. See you guys later. Deuces! <laughs>